Let's go for a nostalgia box two here. The first box is still sitting in the middle of my living room from last week. Oh well, this one's not quite as big, so it's not gonna be as long as of a video. It's probably good. Uh, again, this is stuff from my parents' house. They're moving. Been in there 44 years, so you can imagine the amount of stuff in there. Some Hardy's coupons. Uh, but this is a smaller box, as I was saying. Let's see what we got here. Dion Warwick and spinners. Not the spinners, just spinners. Then came you and... Just as long as we have love. I don't know if I know either of those songs. Um, this is a character from Fraggle Rock. I don't remember her name, but I remember these things. I don't think they were McDonald's toys, but Happy Meal-ish. Had all kinds of them. Um, this is a Boy Scout thing. My nephew might need that at some point. The Boy Scout thing, this is old. This is from like the 60s. It says Keokuk. It's the name of the town I'm currently in. A couple of baseball cards. Mike Boddicker. Mm hmm. From 86. 86 tops. What do we got here? That's Fleer. Franklin Stubbs. This is 85 Fleer. Worthless. Whoa, Joey. Let's see, baby kangaroos are called Joey's. And my name's Joe. Some people call me Joey, not too many. So I got that book. Cute, huh? Keokuk Police Department Crime Stoppers type thing. McGruff on there. Crime Biter, it says. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. That torn up Ren and Stimpy poster. I wish it was in good shape. That'd be a good thing to frame. Hang up. But it's pretty, pretty beat up. I don't know if I'll be doing anything with that. Uh, Camp Eastman, 1993, Klondike. Klondike. Dyke, I'm sorry. This is the way. No, wait. Finding the way. So some Boy Scout stuff in here. Here's another one. Troop 43. Kerchief we made. Back in the day. I do not know what this is. It looks like it might be some sort of stand for something. There's nothing on it. No writing. If you know what it is, let me know. I just took this because I can always use these. It's not really nostalgic. And huh, new kids on the block cards. I was gonna see if these are worth anything. Probably not. Actually, my sister's, I assume. Then I I don't remember having these ever. But Deep Space Nine cards. That's cool. Here's Miles O'Brien, the most important man in Starfleet ever. And some other Star Trek cards. I remember that. Used to get these at Woolworth. Yes, Woolworth. They're kind of, they're baseball themed, kind of like Garbage Pail Kid type. But, like, monster type. That's, they're pretty fun. Elbert the Eyes. Probably not an umpire, huh? Shell Shocked Sean. Knit Head Nelson. Yeah, okay, you get it. Here's a them shooting at the Horda, I think. And this is really weird. Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves card. Why were those made? I don't know. A bunch of cards. A hole punch, just because I might need a hole punch sometime. Kind of like the light bulb thing. Uh, I believe this was a gold badge. The gold is gone. But I don't know if everybody knows about safety patrol, but when you're in fifth grade, you help the little kids cross the street, basically. So a set of points, probably bad, but I never throw away bad car parts. And this was cool. A TV guide with Star Trek on it. 
25 years of Star Trek. Let's see. It does not. I don't see a date. Uh, so, not in the best shape, but maybe I can figure out a way to display that. <laughs> this was fun. Got something sitting. Postage due. I used to mow grass when I was a kid, and here's a check for $20 from 1993 that I didn't get around to cashing, apparently. That's too bad. Because that's 20 bucks. But what can you do? And a freeze tester. Yep. Yeah. Some film that's needs developed. I don't know if any place in town develops film, but I'm going to find out and see what's on there because there's another one in there. <laughs> we'll see what's on those. Not a bunch of negatives, but it's hard to tell what's on there. This looks like Boy Scout stuff. Probably down at my mom's parents' farm, looks like. Beat up old 69 GTO. So that won't be worth anything. A uh, Credence book. My friend Pat got into Credence. Clearwater Revival through this book. I was already a Credence fan, but found this book. and like, that's cool. Good book. Doesn't really tell you how uh, um, John Fogarty is kind of a sociopath, but, you know, whatever. I don't know what this is. Hall Pass, I guess. Now, here's something about Marilyn Manson. So, obviously from high school. I don't know, that's a cool book. If you can find it. It's a clock I saved. My dad's work. Ugh. It says Griffin Wheel on it. That's where my dad used to work. And then he flips it open and he goes, Oh wow. Been in a drawer for 25 years and the light still works on it. That's fun. Get out of there. What are you doing? In that box. Oh, there's a twist tie in there. She loves twist ties. <laughs> Get away from it. Okay, my dad threw this in the garbage, but I dug it back out. It's a sharpening, uh, like a sharpening stone for a knife, and my pocket knife's pretty dull, so... Hopefully get around to using that one of these years. Another piece of pin. Yeah, I remember this. I don't remember where I got it or when I got it, but it's an ink pen. Oh, she got, <laughs> she got that out of there. Um, all my children trivia game probably stops in about 1993. So, you know, uh, I don't know if there's anything about when Natalie's sister Janet pushed her down a well and uh, Dimitri or whatever found her and saved her and then she had to get her memory back and realize she was uh, in love with Trevor and then uh, Janet had disguised herself as Natalie and had a baby with Trevor and not that I know anything about all my children. I can't believe I remember all those names. This was cool. I mean, there's no key for it or anything. No hope that's ever going to open, but it's a cool little piece. I think I have the CDs around here somewhere for that. So I kept that. Uh, my immunization records. They misspelled my last name on there. There's really nothing in there, so maybe I'm not even immunized. I don't know what this was. It is an empty envelope. That's fun. Okay. A bunch of negatives there. I should have just thrown away. Uh, this is a pencil sharpener that I acquired from one of the classrooms at the high school my senior year. Uh, Battle of Pea Ridge. So I used to have a Civil War reenactment here in town. At the Battle of Pea Ridge, probably where I got this book. Just tells you a little bit about that battle. 
used to be really into history. This is some thing where you hook on your oil drain thing in your car so it doesn't spill on everything. Um, this looks like something from the Blair Witch Project. I don't know, maybe they handed those out at the, sh at the movie or what? This looks like, my mom said it looks like a horn. I think it's the tail of a snake. Anyway, who cares? Uh, my Iowa test the basic skills when I used to be smart. And let's see what else we got here. My old Kentucky home, Stephen Stinkin' Foster. Yep. Uh, that's it. That's all that's in this box, so not anything too valuable or exciting in that one. So two down, got a couple hundred to go. Put all this stuff back in here and, ooh, and my finger in the shot. Put all this stuff back in. I'm going to save this film out and see if I can. And, you know, see it again in another 25 years. It's just random. Ugh. I don't know. Keep this uh, TV guide out. We're going to do something with that. But that's it. Hope you had fun. Um, kitty. There's a toy box over at my parents' house that my dad said I should do a video of opening because it hasn't been opening. Hasn't been opening. Hasn't been opened in probably in at least 25 years. I'm going to say a little more than that. But we will see. Put my check back in here. Or should I go cash it? <laughs> Wouldn't that be fun? <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, talk to you later. Like and subscribe, will you?